Hello, welcome to Unit 7. Unit 7 has some excellent reading. Um, this is the first time I've read The Things They Carried. And I must admit, I really enjoyed it. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, I love the motif, obviously carrying things. It's right in the title. Um, but Rose for Emily was too. Um, and so I love the symbolism. But really, I, I like, I mean, and we're going to talk a little bit more in another video for this unit of sort of a psychoanalytical. It's interesting to see, especially since a lot of these theories came out of wartime, it's interesting to see a wartime story and to see how the, the characters change throughout. Um, you know, also, that extended metaphor of carrying things, I mean, is so brilliant that you really can get lost in it. I'm also a big fan of the structure. Um, obviously, the repetition. People love repetition. They really do. Music's built on repetition. And also breaking that repetition, that creates interest. So while we're lulled into enjoying repetition, we also want it to change, but not too much. So, because we don't like change. Um, I One of the things I think that really was interesting was when he got list heavy. Like, well, of course, it's the things they carried. And of course, it's going to have lists. Um, but I love the specifics, even if I don't know what they are. I don't know what a CAR 15 is. I barely know what an M14 is. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. I love the weight, right? That specificity is really amazing. But then always done with an eye for emotion. And it's this, I think it really gets you into this idea. It gets his reader like there. Like in order to deal with the mission, you have to find comfort in the repetition. But yet there's always like an emotional like thing out there that you're trying to like detach from or that you use to get regrounded. So there's a lot of depth here in that I think you could only get if you were there. And obviously, I wasn't in Vietnam. Um, so it's 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 really fascinating from a lot of different points of view and a lot of schools of criticism. Um, but even within itself, and a new criticism even contained within itself, it's really interesting. Uh, I'm sure if I read it enough times, there's definitely an allegory because it's definitely dealing with sort of the war. Um, but that's, I mean, if I find it, that's going to be great because that'll be another level. So the things they carried is one of the longer pieces of reading for this course, but it's also contemporary and really in depth of what you can begin to look at. Like, how does he make his decisions about when to make the breaks, right? Um, what is some of the character development? What are some of the character conflicts, etc.? Just a lot of stuff here, and hopefully you can have a lot of fun with it in the discussion board, and I look forward to reading those comments.